The Maryland Terrapins were having a very great season. Unfortunately, last week they had to go up against the Iowa Hawkeyes, who are just on another level right now. They are clearly one of the top, you know, about five, top five, six teams in the nation. You could debate the order. I think that they're definitely a top four team in the nation, and they just gave it to Maryland. And Maryland, they started out really good this season, undefeated, and now they're getting into the schedule of big boy football. A big boy, big ten football, and I just don't think Iowa is prepared for it. I mean, not Iowa. Maryland has been prepared for it. Iowa gave them, you know, just a brutal a brutal loss. It's very tough. Now Maryland has to turn around and come to Columbus and face my Buckeyes during homecoming. Ohio State has constantly have been improving week by week, especially following after the Tulsa game. Obviously, the Oregon game was disappointing. They came back. They played Tulsa, you know, Definitely a letdown game. Wasn't the best performance. Then they played Akron. They played Rutgers. Say what you want. They're showing improvement. And I, I believe that they are they have a chance of making the playoffs. Ohio State is constantly improving. A lot of the teams that we've seen last week have failed. And just Ohio State is on a mission. They want to make the playoffs. They have to show up and they have to show out against Maryland. They can't play a close, they can't play a close game against Maryland. I know you – we. At, you don't want to get into comparing teams because you've seen Michigan or that team up north play um, Rutgers very close to know how State smacks them. So we can't get in that conversation where, okay, Iowa, you know, destroys Maryland and then, okay, now we have to destroy Maryland. I just want them to come out, you know, continue to grow, especially the offense. Stroud, he has a chance to really be great. He seems to be a little bit healthier. He didn't play against Akron. You know, for him to just continue to show growth is what we need. And – I need him to look good because last time we seen him play, you know, at home was against Tulsa. He didn't he didn't look that he did not look that good. Um Ohio State, I know it's homecoming week. Everyone's excited on campus, alumni back, a lot of different events going on, but this football team needs to remain focused. If not, Maryland can come in and surprise some people. Obviously, you know, the way that they lost, they cannot wait to get back on the football field and show, you know, a better performance, which I think Maryland will be it will be a better performance. I don't think Ohio State is going to blow them out by 30, 40 points. Um, if Ohio State can win by two touchdowns, maybe that would be great. But Maryland, you have to take them you, – you can't take them lightly. You know, it's it's already been done. Someone's came in a horseshoe and beat Ohio State. It can be done. So if Ohio State's not on their P's and Q's, they can lose this game. I don't see that happening. I think Ohio State will come away with the victory.